so right here, this is a more spiny variety of chayote. Um, but if you've ever thought about growing chayote and weren't sure how to do it, it's pretty simple. You just plop the uh, the fruit, or it's used as a vegetable, whatever. You just plop it on the soil because a chayote mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily have a seed. It is the seed, and it's going to send uh, roots and its sprout out from the base and it'll grow straight into the soil and that's basically how they grow. I can show you if I can do this here. These ones are kinda iffy to grab because they're spiny. So right here you can see all the roots that it's got so you don't have to do it this way. You can just plop the thing down in your raised bed or in the soil or wherever it is. And you don't even have to bury it. You can partially bury it or just like I did here, I just placed it on top and it sent its roots down and is sending its um, shoots upward. So it has, um, it's a type of squash. So it's going to have little tendrils. You can see one right here. It's going to attach itself to whatever it feels like <laughs> and start growing. And it's that simple. So this is one uh, thing that I'm experimenting with right now. I preferred the taste of the spiny ones versus the smooth ones. So that's why I'm focusing on this, but I hope to have some success with this going forward. I've had a few uh, false starts and failures, but you know, you keep trying with this sort of stuff. So that's planting chayote.